Disclaimer, this video is like the worst shit possible. Please, uh, I uh, don't know. I think. Has there ever been a point in life where you've seen something online and it's just shocked you beyond belief? And no, I'm not talking about some tweet or some video that someone made or some leaked DMs or something like that. I mean an actual story online that is completely sickening and abhorrent. The early internet used to specialise a lot in that as a sort of prank to play on someone. You know what I'm talking about, stuff like Meat Spin, Live Leak, Blue Waffle, Two Girls, One Cup. It's reminiscent of the Wild West Age of the Internet, where a stray bullet could hit you at any time, and you'd always have to be on your guard. Allow me today to bring you a story that could be classified as being on that level. The story of Jay Sonic 1977 may be one of the weirdest stories I think anyone has encountered on the internet in recent years. It's a story of complete derangement and disgust, yet also the loneliness of a lolcow. A story with such levels of idiocy and ignorance that at some point you can't really do anything except pity the man. This is the tale of a man who's been using a Sonic doll as a s toy for almost 25 years. To start with JSONIC 1977, you first have to look at the man's name, which tells you all the basic information you can use to find out what kind of person he is. Sonic in his name obviously means that you'd expect him to find him in the Sonic fanbase, one of the most mentally advanced fanbases of today, gifted with the most enlightened minds of our generation. And of course, 1977 being the year that JSONIC, real name Jason Crevier, was born in Quebec, Canada. As a kid, not much is known about Jason except for his character that we know today. Growing up, he was caught by the Sonic Hype Train, a Sega released Sonic the Hedgehog in 1991. But the following year, 1992, is where he sets the beginning of his obsession with the Sonic franchise. But from the start, it was clear that Jay Sonic wasn't exactly mentally sound. As a recently released anecdote from the man reveals that from the ages of 13 to 17, he inserted pens, pencils, cranium tubes, and a rusty nail into his person. Listen, I'm, I'm gonna leave it up to you to decide which end they went into, and yes, it's probably the most painful one you're thinking of. Listen, YouTube TOS is holding me back here. Thank God for me, thank God for all of you that, that is holding me back. This activity caused Jay Sonic to go into a coma at the age of 18, and somewhere in the middle of that coma, the blue hedgehog came to him in his dreams, and when he came out of that coma, that was his new desire and his saviour. Since 20, he's been a self-declared plushophile, and a Twitter thread explains it in much more detail. Are you physically attracted to Sonic, or is screwing plushies like your fetish? Physically attracted to him. But why? What parts of him are you attracted to? Glad you asked. I had a huge scare in my teenage years, and Sonic came into my life in the middle of that scare, and he changed my world. I am attracted to all of him. What the fuck, dude? What is so surprising anyway? What do you mean? You stick your thing in a plushie. No one else does this. If you have a problem with this, then you have a problem because I do what I do, and that's all there is to it. And that's what's been going on. Jay Sonic has since been plowing, and allegedly pooing, on his plush toy, might I add, without cleaning it for the past 25 years. Do you want to see it? No, and I'm not going to show it either, because I can't. But for the sake of everything, imagine... Hell. Or if you've ever seen that picture of the Game Boy that survived a bomb blast, imagine that with like a Sonic toy. But I know what question you're all thinking. How much cum has JSonic deposited into his fluffy blue hedgehog toy? So, JSonic has been using his Sonic toy since 1997. Assuming he uses his toy once every day, and going by the fact that on average a typical male puts out 3 milliliters of cum, that would equate to 1 liter and 95 milliliters of cum every year. And since he's been doing it for 25 years, that's over 27 liters of cum <laughs> deposited into a Sonic doll in the lifetime. Furthermore, the density of semen is around 1 gram per milliliter, meaning that hypothetically this plush contains 27 kilograms of pure cum. So, what does Jay Sonic do for a living? Well, apart from his Sonic doll, he's actually a man of many trades. As seen for his fur affinity, he's an artist, where a man in his mid-40s draws kid furries with diapers playing in the- Okay, maybe something else, maybe something else, thanks. He's also a DJ. Sorry, sorry, I meant he's a DJ. He's a DJ, naming himself the incredibly creative DJ Sonic. And you can actually catch some of his online shows from time to time. His DeviantArt account, although now lost, used to have this bio. It says, full name, J Sonic Hedgehog, artist type watcher, Registered since February 17, 2008. Current mood horny are his profile. I am a Canadian hedgehog. I am not here for commissions or such. I'm just here to have a good time with other furs in the community. I will talk your head off if I'm in the mood, if and when we do message each other. 
I'm also a DJ in real life, my fans really adore my music. My DJ name whenever I DJ is, of course, DJ Sonic. I want to tell everyone who watch me that I am a plushophile. Now, I have many Sonic plush toys, all of them only Sonic the Hedgehog. A couple of them are out for display purposes. A few of them are in my private drawer. One for snuggling while I'm in bed sleeping, and the other one is for making love with. I adore Sonic, and have been a plushophile since I was 20, and been a true Sonic fan since I was 15. Although I'm still a plushophile, I'm still a true Sonic fan, and a loyal one also. Sonic is my plush boyfriend. Non-existent occupation aside, what I was interested in is the method behind the madness. I mean, this guy's watched this Sonic the Hedgehog film 15 times. I mean, that, that tells you all, all you need to know. So, let's try and pick the mind of Jay Sonic. A good introduction for this comes from my post of his on a forum called Plushy Love. No prizes for guessing what that forum is about. My life revolving around Sonic the Hedgehog. Hi everyone, do any one of you have a favourite character that you cherish so much that you base your whole entire life on that particular character? I mean for me it's Sonic plush toys, Sonic cartoons, Sonic animated cursors on my laptop, Sonic pictures, porn and non-porn. My real name is Jason, but I love to be called Jay Sonic, and my DJ name is called DJ Sonic. Heck, I even think about him day in day out. So yeah, I am really obsessed with Sonic, even though I am 38 years of age. So much that my life really revolves around him. Here's another of his posts on a furry forum. Anyway, to answer you, lover boy, as a plushy lover, Sonic is the only one for me, Sonic really stole my heart from when I was 15 years old. Now I know that I've been buying Sonic plush toys, but he always had the same name. I didn't even want to change his name because Sonic is kind of a name that turns me on, lol. He and I communicate telepathically, and sometimes the 14 inch Sonic in my drawer whines when he doesn't get his well deserved humping from me, and I hear him whine, and I usually tell him that he'll get his humping time in a few hours. But yeah, at times they are lies, but I try not to lie to him too much because he's my very special hedgehog. I'm being too sentimental here, heh. I'm gonna wait for replies from what I just said because I just know that I'll get a few. So what we've got so far is an introduction into the mind of Jay Sonic, but wouldn't it be nice to get a full interview with him? Well, that's exactly with the online forum Kiwi Farms managed to stumble upon. On his own Kiwi Farms thread, JSonic posted saying this Hi, people, this is the guy in question, the JSonic. I would just like to say that I know you guys will be eating me up since I now have an account on here, but I won't fight you guys. Just continue to do what you would like to do. Call me nasty names and such. I'm a very friendly plusher file, and I've not written in here before, so now you guys can see what I'm like. I am not that monster that you all portray me to be, so you are horribly mistaken. Guys, I know that I might get roasted on here, so I would like some of you just to come out with any negative comments that you may have against me. I am not a troll, and the picture of the Sonic getting pooped on is not mine. Let me just be clear on that, alright? Yes, I am very horny for Sonic, but I don't want to ruin his dignity by pooping on him. Someone needs to be verified. Hi, Yusha. Glad to meet your acquaintance. Lots of people are mean to me on here, but I just laugh it off because I am on sites to socialise, and not be made fun of. Uh, you don't know where you're at, kid. It's pretty fucking weird to be doing that shit to a plush doll. So? Let it be weird. Also, why argue with someone who has sex with a plush toy? Just leave them at peace. It's not like you're worried about their health or anything. Well, I have grown up some, 41 right now, and yes, I still mess around with Sonic, but I want to give you guys a glimpse into the real person you people have been hurting on here for years and years. But I'm not butthurt. Yeah, I know that I seems like a troll in my 20s and 30s, but something has changed inside me once I hit my 40s. Being a really big Sonic fan is still a high priority for me, and I love life. No one can get me down. You had a dead one-page thread and a couple of two-plus-year-old mentions in other threads. Have you seen the hurting for years and years that other people on this site have gotten? Well, a few dead threads, but it's not like I made an account years ago, so even if I wanted to apply to those threads, I wouldn't be able to. Okay, dude, I have to ask. Knowing that you'll be roasted over a hibachi here, why are you wanting to make friends with people who find you odd at best, completely disgusting at worst? Is it attention-seeking, a weird form of trolling? Are you a masochist in addition to fucking stuffed animals? What's the deal? I guess I just want to see where this goes. I don't mind talking with people, and if I can change people's views on me, well then that's the more better, right? Legit question, why don't you ever wash your Sonic plushie? Just plop him in the washing machine and pretend he's running through Eggman's car wash or some shit. At the very least, he'd be softer when he comes out. Sorry, I went past this. I don't think it's a risk to my health if I leave him dirty. You'll find me crazy if I tell you that he wants me to leave him dirty, because he loves my musky smell. Ugh, ugh, what the f- Ah, ah, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I, if you unsubscribe from this video, I understand. Yeah, I actually do think it's crazy that your stuffed animal told you wants to smell like years worth of dried cum. It's very crazy indeed. Okay, Jay Sonic, I'll not start my post shitting on you because I think you're being your nicest here, and that's better than the normal spurging. I want to ask you some things out of curiosity 
curiosity more than trolling. So, one, what made you fall in love with Sonic? Two, what do your parents think about this whole thing? Three, do you have any IRL friends? If yes, what do they think about it? Four, did you seek psychological help at some point? Five, why do you think sticking your dick into a 20 year old plushie covered in encrusted body fluids is a good idea? One, the fact I was doing very dangerous things to my body when I was 18 to the point of almost dying. Two, I live with my dad and I tell him to stay in my bedroom when I'm doing my stuff as Sonic. Three, yes I have IRL friends and I don't mind since they don't judge me. Four, yes I did but it failed. My love is just too strong between us. Five, because out of those years I've never gotten sick and I don't think I ever will either. I think somehow it's better you turned your attention to Sonic instead of self-harm, but I still think you should get some medical help, not only about your love for Sonic, but for the things that make you self-harm and decide that a plushie would fix your problems. Maybe there's some things that should be worked on, but since you've said you're in your 40s now, I think little can be done. I guess 41 year old virgin dude Jay Sonic would only fuck a chick if she was in a Sonic the Hedgehog mascot costume. I would put that as highly likely, although I need to confirm that the person is indeed a female. Why do you feel such an intense desire to tell everyone you have sex with a plush doll, even to people who are at best disinterested or at worst disgusted? That information isn't going to have any bearing on any relationship you ever have. No one needs to know it. You must know that it is detrimental to your ability to socialise. Normal people are into weird shit, a lot weirder than wanting to fuck a plushie. Don't think of it so much as being judged for fucking a plush, it's more about being judged for openly sharing a gross habit about yourself doesn't matter what it is. A little conversation filter goes a long way. Also, you should probably realise nobody here wants to hurt you. They'll say something for the express purpose of making you respond, but that's your decision to respond negatively or not. We're not some evil cyberbully website plotting people's downfalls, we just gossip about eccentric people like yourself, like how people gossip about celebrities. It's up to you how you respond to it. Well, I know that I am now an internet celebrity for all the wrong reasons, but I don't really care. I take criticism well, but I don't like when other people attack me. Have you ever cheated on your Sonic doll with other Sonic characters? Never ever, nope. Maybe snuggling other Sonic characters, but never sex with others. J Sonic dude, what do you think about when you're boning your favourite Sonic plush? Inquisitive minds need to be filled with answers, and I will give you one. Well, while I do my stuff with Sonic, I like to think that I'm having my Sonic fantasy since I love him so much as a character. Yes, I do cheat and look up porn up, but it's only to get more stimulated. I do love Sonic with all my heart though. Thank you for the question. During the thread, Jay Sonic's alleged ex-girlfriend hops into the thread to say this. He doesn't like chicks, he's my ex-boyfriend. I broke up with him when he told me what he does. I got jealous, lol. Your ex-boyfriend? When you do date slash break up with him? And why do you date him in the first place? Just don't talk to her, she's not worth of any of our time. She got jealous, she said, but that is not healthy and what I have with Sonic is great. I don't need people who is jealous of what I have with Sonic. I only accept people into my life only if they want to accept what I have with Sonic. So who cares about people that are jealous on other people? Hey, we're just here to get both sides. I know there are probably a lot of hard feelings and resentment between you two, I get that. I understand what you have with Sonic is important with you, but if you were in a relationship with this girl, I can also understand how she would have gotten jealous over you paying more attention to Sonic than her. I don't know enough of the story to be sure, but maybe she just really liked you and wanted it to be you and her instead of you and her and Sonic. I doubt either of you wanted to hurt each other. What happened if you don't mind me asking? Well, one is for sure. She said that to all of you that I don't like chicks. Well, right there is a blatant lie. I like chicks, but not guys. Yes, I'm friends with them, but I'm not gay. Anyway, I don't know this girl since I've chatted with a lot of girls over the years on the internet. As well, I would give the girl as much attention as I do with Sonic. I understand that. Yeah, I didn't think you were gay. Maybe she worded it wrong and meant she thought you don't like girls because you have Sonic and don't need them. Lol. I see. Sometimes people don't like to share though, so that can be hard for them even if you truly care and do pay just as much attention. That's a tough situation to be in, but I admire that you stick by Sonic. Have you ever found a girl that was okay with sharing with you? I hope so. This may have been asked before here, and I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm being nosy lol. I like learning about people, but I read how you communicate with Sonic sometimes. If that's true, have you two ever talked about you having an additional partner? What does he think about it? Thanks for responding to me and being so polite. I appreciate it. Sorry some people here are such jerks to you. Hang on, I'll chat with you in the chat room about this. Okay, stay online. Then Jay Sonic joins the Kiwi Farms chat room and gets bullied into submission by everyone else. If I fuck a rotten doll, that's your take, not mine. I wonder what it smells like. It hasn't been washed in 25 years, it's rotten, bruh. So what if I fuck a rotten plush toy? That's my problem, bruh. Why make it yours, huh? You see, people, Sonic isn't as nasty as all you think he is. We really don't care. Sonic <laughs> disemboweled my dog. I didn't even have a dog, so he bought me one, made me fall in love with it, showed me how to take care of it. There's nothing funny about you. You are boring and disgusting. What Saddam did in the Gulf was potatoes compared to what Sonic has done. Then he used the corpse to mug an old woman. I think I'd be less inclined to dislike you if you just clean the Sonic that you jizzed on. For fuck's sake, just buy a plushie and cut out the hole for the fleshlight to be inserted. At least be a sanitary incel. And then he used the old woman's corpse to commit 9-11. Fuck you all. I am not coming back. If you didn't poop on it, then who did? 
Is that feces? God pooped on it. Someone else, but that's not me. That was Fox Wolfie. He wants to be punished. I told him to go hire a dom, and I know him, and then left so he can suffer without him. Not personally, though. Jay Sonic, where's your 8-pack? Oh, you mean my 8-pack on my penis? What? Have you ever played Love Potion Design? Why did I say that? What are you trying to achieve, lol? That I am smarter than anyone on this website. <laughs> Bro, are you serious right now? I used to be smarter than you, but I drink too much. Jsonic, anything to say before you get kicked? Well, I am all out of shit talk. Okay, it's nice knowing you. See you in a bit. Go find your humiliation elsewhere. How boring, bye bye. At Feline Dark Mage, how fast can you ban me? Jsonic is asking for a chat ban. Jsonic is apparently annoying everyone. It was fun for a while. Get that ass banned. M Specs, he's admitted that he comes here for his humiliation fetish. Okay, bye. Now, seeing all of this, you may just think that Jay Sonic is, at the very least, just a guy. Sure, he's outwardly and incredibly weird, and he pipes his plushies, and he does all of this stuff, it's just completely disgusting. But that's all, like, he's never gonna, like, harm anyone, right? Right? I mean, this segment was inevitable, so let's just get into it. In August 2022, a user on Kiwi Farms posted about Jay Sonic. Sorry for this being so long, I kinda joined to talk about wings, but also this. In the past I was friendly with Jay Sonic. He sent all manner of dick and S Sonic pictures, S doesn't stand for super. He was nice enough and I felt really bad for him, so I'd respond when he randomly messaged me. I have a friend who was in a similar position and we both felt bad. I deleted and blocked him in 2018 because of a picture he sent. He was on the edge of being deleted prior. I turned off auto download and telegram because of him. He was talking about his new girlfriend. He talked to another girl prior. I can't remember if there were more. On and on about her and how she allows him to be with her and Sonic. He has these telepathic voices in his head that Sonic is telling him things, like how badly he yearns for his touch or dick, etc. Anyway, the picture was of a girl that had to have been 15 at most. She couldn't even pass as barely legal. I mean, she could have been some adult that looks like a child that's possible, but it completely and absolutely upset me. I just blocked him after confirming a friend that he'd also sent him the picture and mentioned it. I forgot about that till today. Mutual friend used to send me screen caps when he saw him at the place he hung slash helped manage on Second Life. There was a well-known gay furry spot saying, lol, I thought he was straight. This picture was February the 8th, 2018. Identities were hidden outside his own. I forgot about it till I saw his screen cap and the picture of the girl. I assume he was a kid, I don't know. He was dating tonight in the picture history of friend. Girl pic was sent March of 2018. In a series of DeviantArt posts, Jsonic also talks about a girl called Ariel, who he used to show his private parts to, though later stopped by the girl's mother. The patterns here allude to this girl being underage, or not ready as Jsonic describes it. Hi there, how are you doing? When I woke up and called my girlfriend, her mom answered and gave me a warning not to show my private parts anymore to her. I told her mom that I wouldn't do that anymore, and I have a reminder to not do it because I risk losing her. I don't know why I told this to you, but I told you anyway. I just feel like I can't really be myself anymore, but I'll try my very best to act as normal as I possibly can without showing my parts. Been a long time since I couldn't be able to show my parts on cam, but here I'm faced with a dilemma. Either show it again and lose her, or just keep on seeing her without my parts being shown. It's gonna be hard, but I don't want to lose her. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'll do everything to keep Ariel in my life, including not showing her my private parts, until she is totally ready. This 2018 recollection and Deviantart post would be a sign of things to come, as late in 2019, Jay Sonic would be exposed again for his DMs with minors. We got a pedophile in the act, ladies and gentlemen. I present to you Jay Sonic 1977, who's deleted his account. If you needed any extra proof that this guy is a sick fuck, then here it is. Plus, this is not all he sent me. I've only talked to him for an hour and a half. By the way, so this is Sanix. Now, pay attention to their profile picture. Oh, <laughs> Sonic feet. Sonic with feet. So Kanix says, um, well, I'm not 18 plus, but I won't go to the NSFW chats. My friend is though. Is it okay if I stay? I won't go to the NSFW chats, I promise. Jay Sonic says, all right, you are a major Sonic fan. <laughs> You are a major Sonic fan. By the way, that's how he was promoting this Discord. I saw the tweet, he goes, some minor Sonic fans, and not like minors and children, some like minor Sonic fans are trying to get in. This chat's only for major Sonic fans. <laughs> we will check to see if you're as big of a Sonic fan as possible. Jay Sonic says, all right, you are a major Sonic fan. You may be a minor, but you're a major fan. Uh, but I'm going to do something. Kanix says, I'm not too young, am I? Dude, please, I'll be good. I'll do anything. Jay Sonic says, don't worry, I'm not kicking you out. Wait, he continues, you're a female? Nice. Underage female, but I'll be nice to you and not do anything weird. All right. Well, well are you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> listen, 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 all right? I'm judging it 
by how I see it so far, so far this is relatively fine, right guys? Right? Yeah, this is fine. This is a little uh, I'm reading a little, a little far ahead. Of... <laughs> I mean, Sonic YouTubers can be a little quirky, right? I mean, there's something uh, inherently wrong with this yet. Don't worry, man. I don't think you're weird. J Sonic says thank you. Kanix says, what do you mean by weird though? <laughs> oh my god. J Sonic says, me sending you pictures of my dick. Letting you access my NSFW rooms, things like that. Kanix says, uh, I mean, I can still see the NSFW rooms, you know. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm sorry, I said I wouldn't look, but I just couldn't help myself. I'm sorry I let you down. Chase Sonic says, you aren't letting me down. You should've, you shouldn't have access to NSFW any longer. Anyways, I'll be back. Kanix says, wait, can I see it? Nobody has to know. We can just say I'm 18 plus. Chase Sonic says, okay, wait. Okay, I'm going to do the video in a few- Wait, whoa, 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 Jesus, wait! Yeah, that wait. did not take a lot of convincing. Wait! That, what, was that what? right after? Look at this, what are the timestamps? Was this right after? I wanna- wait. I wanna know if there wasn't anything skip. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, so that's 30 minutes after. That's literally a 30 minute jump. <laughs> no, you don't understand. He explained this on Twitter. I don't know if you have the screen cap for it. But basically what he said is, she told him that she was underage, and he didn't have definitive proof because she only gave her word. She needed to see an he needed to see like an ID to make sure she was underage and not just a girl who was pretending to be 18. Oh, yo, Got so, it. Yeah. For no, an 18, to be no an 18 year old who was pretty yeah, he thought he was getting reversed catfish. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, it's some of it dark. <laughs> wait, wait, he sends a picture of his day. It's dark. I'm sorry. <laughs> dude, he, he can't even see it fully, dude. Someone blocked me and I tried to reply to her. You don't want you don't want to talk to me anymore because I'm not admitting that I'm autistic? How can I admit to something that I am not? This is completely idiotic. Okay, maybe that wasn't smart of me using an at, knowing that this someone blocked you. Anyways, Sammy Monster 212 blocked me. I will admit that, yes, I did show my dick to someone underage, but they ambushed me. They said they were very horny for Sonic also. I hang my head in shame because of this. Other than that, I'm going to bed right now. Okay, if a whole lot of you want to block me, go right ahead. I'm not stopping you. But you know this, I am not a child molester, got that? By the way, okay. it appears that I was trolled badly. Uh, at Di Diablinox somehow got onto my Discord server, and I was warned to not talk with this guy. How was I supposed to know? Wait, if you were warned, <laughs> then that's how you were supposed to know. Thanks for wanting to be my friend on here, although I need to warn you, are you above 18? I'm totally NSFW, but on the server I try to be as SFW as I can. I'm actually 16. 16, okay. I am 42. Um, don't tell anyone over fine. I'll just tell you that I have sex with a Sonic plush toy without me even showing you pictures or anything. Um, I'm very uncomfortable with this. I thought you would be. Not everyone's okay with this. In a Twitter argument, J Sonic attempts to defend himself with more screenshots coming out from him giving a 13 year old access to the NSFW channels. My good sir, it is still illegal. Attempts to send explicit images to what you thought was a minor is still illegal. You always thought I was 13, and which it is still illegal. Hey, can I get the NSFW channels? Okay, there you go. Yeah, thanks, I'm 13, so thanks. Turning 14 soon. Ah, wait a minute. You gained access to my NSFW rooms actually before you told me that you were, or might have been a minor. Yes, but you did not revoke them once I told you I was underage, which in itself is still a crime. To prove once and for all that you are indeed a pedophile. Plushophile, not a pedophile. Why do you want me to be a pedophile? so badly. So if you send pictures of your genitalia and luring children, you are a pedophile. And who says I lure children in? You, kind sir, are 18 years old. And I would appreciate it if you just left me alone and stopped calling me a pedophile. It's not nice at all what you're doing. Here's one of J Sonic's last tweets about this, archived by Nicholas Diorio. I just needed to really point that out there, that Nicholas Diorio archived this tweet. I'm glad, like that. I'm glad everybody who ever sees that screenshot will know I'm the one who archived it. Anyone that calls B a pedophile are pedophiles themselves. <laughs> How do you like them apples? Sometime after this, his account was deactivated or suspended or whatever, so not a lot could be found. However, the final note of anything that Jasonic has posted related to pedos is a common support in Kira the Wolf. Oops, I forgot this existed. Hello, internet. New video coming in a week or two. Big things are happening. Big excited. Kiro, feels like I need to leave my two cents in here. I have watched several videos about you claiming you are who you claim you're not. Now, I believe you because all the pictures that I saw were photoshopped. I mean, I don't know if they were photoshopped, 
but I believe that they were, and all these people are framing you to be a bad guy. You have a fan base here that loves you, so all I will say is for you to keep up the good work and stay out of trouble. You might notice during this video, throughout the script, that I haven't added a lot of commentary or opinion, and that's because I really don't need to. These screenshots speak for themselves, but here I want to kind of investigate a little, put my own little summary, do some theory crafting as they say. Every fucked up person has a source of their degeneracy. For example, Gigi Allen, one of the most provocative and controversial musicians of all time, came from a poverty-stricken family. Allen's father was an insane, abusive religious fanatic who believed that Allen was the second coming of Christ, yet threatened his whole family by digging graves in their cellar. And the same kind of goes for Jay Sonic in a way. Don't get me wrong, this is not an excuse for this 40-something year old man to be messaging 16 year olds. But from inserting painful objects into yourself, resulting in a coma and waking up with Sonic as your saviour, it is pretty clear how I can see some would pity the man. He's undoubtedly a mentally ill and lonely man, who right now is still struggling to cope with the loss of his father, as he lives at his cousin's house. Hey guys, it's me, G-Sonic, but I'm sure most of you know that uh, my dad died, and that will be my first Christmas without my dad. But uh, that's okay, and well, that's not okay, but my children have a wife, and they have kids, and they, their kids adore me, and they have a dog, a Rottweiler, and the Rottweiler is a female, and she loves me too. So, yeah, I am loved. I am loved. I would make this whole big thing about him getting help, but everyone has already tried, and from other comments it's clear that Jay Sonic is simply just set in his ways, and at least comfortable with his life despite the issues that have presented themselves. And at that point, the only thing we can do is tell those who encounter the world's most depraved Sonic fan to steer clear. Until next time, stay toasty.